Hey everyone. You're probably looking at that and wondering what happened. Well, I just figured I'd post a vlog as to what happened is rather than just tweet everything since typing and texting is going to be a problem for the next couple of weeks. Um, okay, basically this happened last night. I was slicing sweet potatoes on a mandolin and I underestimated the distance of the thumb from the blade itself and uh, tore a huge chunk of skin off my thumb. Now me being a well, what's the word? Um, <coughs> prideful person that I am, thought I could just bandage it up and I'll be fine. You know, tighten it up, put pressure on it, be fine. I was wrong. This morning I went to go change the bandage and all the bandage was seeped through. I mean, think of it like, you know, when you buy a burger and the oil seeps through the wrapper. That's what happened. So I was like, all right, well, I guess this means I need to go to the hospital. Um, I think there's a DVD still in there. You can just plug it and pop it out. Okay. Sorry, someone, my, someone's putting in my birthday present, but I'll get to that in a minute. Um, so I said, you know, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. So I got a ride, and I went to the emergency room. And sure enough, they um, said that the skin... Since I lost it because it went down the drain, it needs to be repaired. So they put this, um, they put first they put my thumb in a little bowl of sodium chlor sodium chloride, not sodium chloride. Um it's not alcohol, it's not hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, it was something else. Um, but sodium something. So they stuck it in there so they could get the bandage off because the bandage was pretty much glued to my hand thanks to all the blood coming out. So I had to stick it in there to get it out and it stung at first but then after a while after soaking it in there it wasn't stinging as much anymore. So this time because there was no blood coming out I was actually able to take a look at what it looked like and uh, I don't want to go into graphic detail but it's ugly. Um, <laughs> so they had me sitting in there not as long as I thought because I went to Fatima Hospital. I didn't go to Rhode Island Hospital. So I went to the Fatima Emergency Room. And went in there at about 11.15. And I came, I just came home about, and I just came home about a half hour ago. So, um, that, so that's actually short compared to if I went to Rhode Island Hospital, I'd probably still be there. So I have this. They have what's called Surgicel on it, which is like a second skin. And then they wrapped it up in this special way so my thumb's covered. I mean, the bandage is kind of loose, but it's not like the way I did it before. So I'm probably going to tape it to make sure it stays on. And so the doctor tells me, yeah, of course, it's going to be only a matter of time before the skin grows back on my thumb because it was a pretty deep gash there. So I got to keep this on, and it still stings like the dickens, so I got some prescriptions here to keep it, keep the pain down. Seems to be working, I took it about an hour ago, and the medicine's kicking in, so I'm not in as much pain as I was last night. And believe me, last night I was in pain. <laughs> so, and um, luckily this happened today because tomorrow's my birthday so last thing I want to do is spend my birthday in an emergency room hang on I gotta help somebody out with something so I got so I'm gonna have this on for a while I've gotta wrap it in plastic in order to keep it safe from water and stuff and then I gotta take these meds up until it's time for me to come off. But I will say this, I did have one highlight today. I got my I got a birthday present early from somebody special. Bought me a combination Blu-ray DVD player that can also stream from my Netflix. So I'm gonna give it a try now. See what happens. And I'll let you guys know on Twitter how it's going on. So that's my vlog. <laughs> that's my thumb. 
Gee, was I dumb. <laughs> All right.